Hands. Michael Wilbon joins us here on the phone. We just saw some of the video, Michael Wilbon, of Dick Butkus. For those that are watching that never had the privilege of watching him be on some of these clips on YouTube, what kind of legacy and impact did he leave on the field? Devastation. <laughs> <laughs> Devastation. There's a line in uh, his highlight package from NFL Films which talks about, I know Steve Sable wrote that line. I was very proud of it about authoring the single greatest work of devastation in the history of football. And, I mean, for me, first of all, Dick personified Chicago. He's from Chicago. He didn't just play for the Bears. He grew up on the south side of Chicago, went to Chicago Vocational School. There was nothing fancy about him. He grew up on the south side. He and, and Ray Nitschke, who obviously played the great Packer linebacker, these were like the toughest guys. I was scared of them as like a grown man. I was scared to like walk up to them and say hello. And the irony is that Dick was so funny. I mean, he made his living after football sort of making fun of himself and his, with his, using his great sense of humor. Um, but he was <laughs> – devastation describes it all. And people don't realize now it's been too many years that he and, he and Gail Sayers were drafted three and four in the first round overall in the same draft, 1965. And I have the – the greatest, I'm not much on memorabilia, but the thing that means most to me, and I, yes, I do have memorabilia from Muhammad Ali, and I have memorabilia from a lot of, uh, several places and people, but the thing that means the most to me is a signed photograph I have of Buckus and Sayers posing together on the day they were drafted in 1965 in their uniform, signs to me. And Buck has joked one day and said to me, you better not sell it. I'm like, I'd be afraid to try and sell it. Um, it occupies a place in my home that will not move. But those guys, Dick personified the city, the meanness, the toughness. That, that, that means something in Chicago in a way that even young Chicagoans don't have any great idea. But, but Dick, Buck is Sayers, those guys play together. And, and, and Mike is the only one, sadly, of that trio still left. You, you say mean something, Mike, and I, I want you to stay right there as you're one of the great journalists of our time. You do an incredible job Thank sort you, of encapsulating, well, you are, sort of encapsulating the moment and tone. What does he, Dick Butkus, mean to you personally as just a Ooh. sports lover in Chicagoan? Yeah, I, you took pride in the way they played. Look, the teams weren't any good. We didn't have good teams, okay? Those guys never made the playoffs. Dick Butkus and Gail Sayers never made the playoffs in their Hall of Fame careers. And you mentioned, the piece mentioned that they are on the all-time team. And it's interesting when you hear somebody like Bill Belichick, a true story, and talk about them with the same reverence that I had growing up watching them. Never made the playoffs. But their toughness and the way they, of course, you didn't have 12 teams making the playoffs back then. But the toughness was, was part of it. I mean, the Gale Sayers came back from a devastating knee injury, the kind of knee injury people didn't come back from then. And George Hallis made him return kicks when he came back from the knee surgery, and he returned the first one in a preseason game 100 yards for a touchdown. That, that's the kind of toughness. Sayer, Buck has played through knee injuries, and he was ravaged early in his career. Um, and those guys, you, you had such pride in the way they played, even though they weren't Super Bowl champions. They don't have Super Bowl rings. And Courtney Cronin just mentioned, I was at the Packers game two week, three weeks ago in Chicago when – Dick came out to fire up the crowd, and he talked about kicking the Packers, you know what. Mm. We got a greater thrill out of that than anything that happened at the game that day. <laughs> the greatest thrill I had three weeks ago when he's 80 years old was seeing Dick. And if I have time, I'll tell you a real quick story. I, I had gotten to know Sayers and Butkus, which was very intimidating for me as a grown man um, in his 40s and beyond, and I somehow started – pocket dialing, butt dialing, Dick Butkus, oh, the great no. Dick oh. Butkus. I was, I, I was terrified. So oh. one night I get this phone call at like 2 a.m. and it's Butkus growling into the phone. Hey, what are you doing <laughs> butt dialing me? I'm like, oh my God, I'm sorry, Mr. Butkus. And this legendary laugh comes out over the phone at the other end. And he then he wanted to ask, he wanted to talk about another Southside kid, Derek Rose. And he said, you seen Derek Rose play? Have you seen this kid play? Is he tough? Is he good? And it was just, it, it was who he was. He, he, he lived in California. He lived in Hollywood. He, he became that. But his heart was always back 
where he grew up, where we grew up. And so, you know, it, it, it goes on. So I, sometimes I talk to Isaiah Thomas Cayley, and we'll talk about toughness, and he will mention Butkus, who we grew up watching and revering and being terrified of. And so it's, um, it's you know, a sad night for me. I, I showed Courtney Cronin referred to the photos when you get in Soldier Field, and Butkus is right there on the wall. And last, three weeks ago, I showed my son this, and I said, you see that? And he goes, yeah, I know, Dad. You got that 51 jersey at home. I said, that's right. It's, I do. And that's the toughest guy maybe who ever lived. And so that is what I think most of us take. And so, you know, with hell, Butkus, I, Butkus seemed beyond death um, to most of us. He, he was that tough. He personified that in every way, shape, and form. Absolutely incredible. There's nothing that he didn't do in his career and then also gets the benefit of a butt dial from another Hall of Famer <laughs> in Michael Will Uh Thank you so much, Mike, just for sharing your perspective about the legacy of the great Dick Butkus, who, as we remember, and we've been telling you some of his career highlights, made the most, just nine years. And just to hear Mike again, Gail Sayers, Dick Butkus, Never made it to the playoffs. Mm. In, unbelievable. But he had eight Pro Bowl selections, tied for the third most Pro Bowls in Bears history. Only Mike Singletary and Walter Payton ended up having more. Dick Buckus has passed at the age of 80.